Greetings and welcome back to the Galley of the Sun. So, let's talk about the hot dog and the kielbasa. Both of them are incredible. And you could take a bun, put your hot dog in there, and that's going to be good. You can do the same thing with the kielbasa. You can bump it up a little bit. You can put your hot dog on the bun and then put some delicious mustard on it. Never catch up. Sorry, Patrick Mahomes. Never catch up, but mustard. Still going to be delicious. Maybe you put a little bit of sauerkraut on it. Maybe a little chili and cheese. All that's real neat. But for our subscribers, you know us here at the Galley of the Sun, we like to take things to the extreme. So we're going to do a kielbasa and a hot dog today. Our take on a couple menu items from Umai Savory Hot Dogs in San Francisco. It's a restaurant that has been taking hot dogs and sausages to the next level. Today we're going to make the Honolulu Bang Bang Kielbasa and the Chicago Chopper Hot Dog. So first we need to get ready for the Honolulu Bang Bang Kielbasa. I need to make my own hoisin sauce for it. So what I have here is some soy sauce, some brown sugar. What the hell is this? Some rice vinegar, a little bit of hoisin sauce, a little bit of water, some cornstarch, some ground ginger, some garlic powder, and some sesame oil. We're going to take all of that and put it in a saucepan, heat it up until it's simmering and get it well mixed. Then we're going to set that aside to cool. Then we'll be back for the next step. So the next step is to get some bacon cooking. According to the menu at Umai Savory Hot Dogs, they use applewood bacon on their Honolulu Bang Bang. So that's what we're going to use. Now, as the bacon is finishing up, I'm going to get some honey on my pineapple planks that I sliced here. All right, give those a flip. Get the other side. We're going to give the griddle a good scrape now. Get that honey off of there. Now that we've scraped our grill, we need to get a little bit of lubrication on there. So a little bit of Wagyu beef tallow. Get that spread around. So if you watched our earlier videos, you know that we made our, make our own hot dogs. So these are not like store-bought hot dogs. These are raw. They're a mixture of beef and pork. So I'm going to get these on to cook them. And we also make our own kielbasa, but the last step of the process is smoking them until they reach an internal temperature of 165. So these are cooked, we're just putting these on them to get the skins crisp up and get them good and warm. What I have here is some delicious brioche buns. So we're going to open those up, get them sprayed with some butter. Those are All right, let's put this together now. So first we'll do the Honolulu Bang Bang Kielbasa. So we get our bun here. We get a little bit of hoisin sauce that we made earlier on it. Get a slice of bacon. We get our kielbasa. A little bit of that grilled pineapple we just did. And some red onions. And there you go, our take on the Ume Savory Hot Dog Restaurant's Honolulu Kielbasa. All right, let's give that one a try. Mmm. 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 A perfect combination of savory and sweet. That is incredible. I wouldn't have thought to put that together on a hot dog. Good job. Next, we'll do the Chicago Chopper. So, got our bun. A little bit of Dijon. 
our hot dog, some diced Roma tomatoes, some pepperoncini, a slice, thin slice of dill pickle nestled right up next to your dog, and then top that with some red onions. I need a few more pepperoncinis. All right, let's give that one a try. Another absolute winner. Umami savory hot dogs, you are doing things right. At least my take on your recipes came out incredible. So yours must be amazing. Hey, if you like what you saw today, make sure you hit that like button. If you hit that subscribe button, you'll know when every one of our episodes are coming out and you wanna know, oh, you wanna know. Hey, thank you so much for joining us today. And until next time, Fair winds and following seas.